What the? F what is that? Ah. Oh my God! Okay. You have five gallons or twenty? Is it? Sweet. Hey! <laughs> hey! It's open! It's open! I'm not kidding! Oh, look at this narrow. Getting lightheaded. Oh, yeah. If you're getting lightheaded, that's a bad sign. Yeah. Now that was a fun way to end the trail. Death Valley in the wintertime. What could possibly go wrong. This place isn't known for much rainfall. Actually, it only gets about 1.7 inches on average per year. And to put that in perspective, Los Angeles gets about 11.7 inches, over 10 times as much. In August 2022, there was cataclysmic flash flooding, and this happened in a summer month. No one in their wildest dreams could imagine what happened. The mountains were literally gushing water. The cars were buried, roads were destroyed, and in the back of our heads, we were super worried that we were getting caught up in this. Well, there's only one way to find out. So after work on a Friday night, I make my way out to Death Valley. I roll into camp at one o'clock in the morning, popped open the rooftop tent, and I slept like a baby. All right, here we go, day one. Just woke up from night one. Morning. Hey, morning. <laughs> morning, Sandra. For the gram. Good to see you, Sandra. Good to see you. This is too. trip. This is like your third trip in just over a year. Unfortunately. This unfortunately is. 2022 yeah. had one trip. Eleven <laughs> Lake Scouting. That was it. And then you but you did go to Italy. Well, yes, I did. And you went to the Dolomites. I did, thankfully. What time did you roll in? Uh about uh, eleven thirty. Okay. Yeah. So what have you done here? You got some all-terrain tires, a little tougher uh, tires. Yeah, yeah. So Sandra and I organized this trip to be beginner friendly. The plan was to explore Southeast Death Valley. Oh no, Carl radioed in. He said he's uh, he was 13 miles south of Shoshone. In a reach messenger, I'm connected. I'm gonna search for Carl. I know I have his number here, one, one second. By the way, thank you AB Overland Supply out of Lancaster, California. Uh, my buddy Chris um, had this extra unit from Garmin and Garmin provided this to him. He already had one, so he said, hey John, would you like to use this? And um, very grateful for Chris. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, use this kind of in real time here. So I wasn't able to text Carl because I didn't have his number saved on my phone. Otherwise, I could have used the Garmin InReach Messenger to send him a satellite text message. Not slow down. 
I noticed there's a, someone took off to up the berm here to get around it here. I think everybody can get through that, but uh, just do not let up when you start fishtailing around. All right, I'm gonna drive through. Um, I'm gonna just hug the right. I'm gonna stay high on my passenger side. Uh, and I'm just gonna go kind of take it slow and uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. That was pretty rough. I got mud all over my window. That's okay. At least I didn't get stuck. But um, yeah, um, I, I feel like limits were kind of pushed there. I made it, but limits were pushed. So if you have a four-wheel drive, it might be okay. It'd probably be okay. Uh, All-wheel drive, might want to consider like taking that bypass. And I'm gonna go clean my mud now. Mud on my leg. That's all right. Got a little napkin from Chipotle. Mud all over Bypass my door. This is pretty deep mud too, so this isn't great. I'm going for it. I got mud all over my door. Can I have my window open? <laughs> I did, and I got some mud like all over my door right here. Oh, you got it on the inside. Yep. <laughs> Dude, I was. Uh, when you slowed down, I was like, "Is he doing that on purpose?" Yeah, I slowed down to straighten out. Okay. <laughs> because I was going sideways. You see me? I was like doing this. Hey, we might consider yeah. coming back out and camping out back, back out. Yeah. Uh, because we don't know how hard it's raining above us. Okay. I don't. I don't mean to be that guy. No, you're fine. Uh, but if it rains really hard above us, a lot of these washes can go hard. Right. And we so, could we could be here for a few days. Uh, okay. I mean. Yeah. Let's, we can watch it, but we don't. We really don't know what's going on there, there, or there, right? Right, right. So, okay. Because so, because we're already pushing it with the water level now, and if yeah. some of these washes get more water, right? Most, you know, maybe the jeep gets up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. I agree.
the the YouTube videos before, you'll you'll know that you know we're a very easygoing group. No one's going to make fun of you. Uh, you should feel completely comfortable with telling us that you're uncomfortable. I need an ID to move rocks right there. I don't. Most uh, rainfall tomorrow. We're going to have some rain, but um, not as much at all. Nice line, John. Yeah, maybe, what do you think, Rob? Should we just turn around now? And uh, I think what Sandra is alluding to is um, what we could do is we'll do some touristy stuff. I've never been through Badwater Basin during the daytime, so that might be pretty cool. Uh, we could do Artist Point. I've never driven through there, and I've never driven through Mule Team Canyon Road. Sounds good. Hey, John, I agree. Uh, that's too many, kind of. I had A-Track kick in a couple times, uh, so... Keep in mind that Sandra and I planned this trip to be beginner friendly, and so we had to stick to that. Although many of us wanted to continue on and we had the vehicles to do so, we have to default to the original plan. It would be unethical and immoral and just a douche move if we tried to talk everyone into continuing to the mine. And if anything, this just gives some of us a reason to return. Ground clearance is important, and that's why I push the Traxa three and a half inch lift kit. Not only do you get more ground clearance compared to the two inch kit, but you get straighter axles. They lift very well. So buy once, cry once, lift up your Honda, and avoid costly damage. There's a rock I'm trying to avoid. Okay, maybe I'm already under it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yep, I'm on top of it right now. Okay. And there's a bunch of rocks there. So in case you're wondering what I was doing here, I was trying to scout out ahead and find us a nice flat campground. And I came to the conclusion that this road would be too rough for the convoy. It was actually rockier than the other trail that we went on earlier. I was thankful I had my Nolo Design skid blades, or skid blades in general. Anyways, we opted for a safer campground. Uh, I'm not going to disclose where this is, but if you put two and two together, you might be able to figure it out. We are on the east side of Death Valley, and this is BLM land, or Bureau of Land Management. Cheers to a fun trip, here, here, uh... Uh, even though we ran into a little bit of the unexpected today, uh, thank you for coming along on this adventure and thank you to the pads for saving our butts and giving us a place to camp today. Alright, <laughs> cheers everybody, salute, Kung Pao. <laughs> Kung Pao. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was I think I said that wrong. I think you made Don Bay, but... Come pay! There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Joe just woke up. Yes, I did. <laughs> You're sleeping in this thing. And how tall are you? Uh, five nine. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm and have and, to... and uh, with the passenger seat all the way up, I can fit. I can fit pretty fine. Cool. Yeah. I, I, I'm gonna have to see this. Wanna, wanna take your time when you get out. Oh, okay. I just need to check out your oh, little. Oh no, I'll, I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> there you go from the other end. 
Uh huh. Oh, it's pretty deep. Yeah, so I have the. Yeah, the X pad. I have the X pad and then a, 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 um, a sleeping pad. Yeah. And a liner and a and a pillow. And I love this pillow here. Oh, nice. It's a. One of the Hest pillows. Oh, yeah, yeah. The one that kind of folds in mm -hmm. inside out. Yeah, I saw them at, uh, at Overland Expo. Yeah, so I've I've tried different ways to sleep. Like, I've tried sleeping on the driver's side. I've actually, like, um, laid down the passenger oh, okay. uh, seat all the way down mm -hmm. and then put things on it in order yeah. to put the mat on it. And I like this arrangement because I don't touch the driver uh, seat. Yeah. And uh, I can just drive off if I need to. Yeah. You're full sketched out. That's what I did with my Subaru, and that's what I did for a long time with yeah. the Passport. I just slept on the passenger side. Yeah. And uh, one time with a Subaru, uh, I got visited by a bear, mm -hmm. and uh, it was sniffing my my camp, and I could I had my windows cracked down, so I was able to hear him, and it just kind of freaked me out. And um, yeah, I just drove off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't do that if yeah. you have if you have to push the driver's side. Yeah, exactly. Seat all the way up, and yep. you can't like yeah. to jump inside the car you can't go from like a panic situation to just drive away mm -hmm. yeah so i was able to quickly just drive away yeah yep yep cool all right well thanks for sharing sure thing <laughs> and hopefully we get some uh trail footage today But if you wanna travel, then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know? Yeah, if you're gonna leave, I'ma let you go I'm tired of the pain Go